Hey guys, we're the Evergreens, and the last time you saw us, we were in our car driving up through Massachusetts and Maine. We stopped in a lot of awesome little towns, explored a bunch, and ate some pretty fantastic seafood while we were there. If you guys missed those videos, we'll be sure to link them down below, so check them out and subscribe while you're at it. But the fun is not over. Tonight we're staying near Hocking Hill State Park in Ohio at a place called The Box Hop. Guys, we've been so excited about this place. We found them on Airbnb a few months ago, and we've just been watching that date in our calendar for quite some time but it's finally here and for the next 20 hours this baby's all ours so we can't wait to show you around but first we just want to give a huge thank you to the box hop for partnering with us on this video thank you guys so much let's go box hop locations this is the smaller of the two it's called the boho box hop and it's actually made out of two shipping containers which you would never guess because it feels so bright and open the owners just did a fantastic job creating this space i love all the windows that they put in here there's so much natural light that just pours in because it doesn't feel like you're closed in whatsoever and it's of course very photogenic but when we walked in here it's every bit is beautiful when you're in person so of course this is our kitchen area right here decked out with a smeg fridge which, oh, oh what I dreams are made of right <laughs> everyone wants a smeg i just love it i know we need it's one so beautiful. oh my gosh there's also a stove an oven a microwave a dishwasher so fully equipped kitchen this kitchen is more loaded than our own kitchen at home oh hands down so we have this awesome seating area here as well it's so comfy. All these pillows and it's like a microfiber. It feels like memory foam or something. Awesome. It's so soft. But this pulls out into an extra bed so you can sleep four people in this place. And by how comfortable this seat is, I would imagine it's a very comfortable bed. And in here is our bathroom. I don't think I've ever loved a bathroom this much. I didn't think it was possible to love a bathroom this much. I mean, look at this place. There's a towel warmer here. I'm gonna use that for sure. Also, there's this beautiful honeycomb backsplash that continues from the floor up through the wall. Yeah, I love how it's unfinished so you can really see the shape of it. Last but not least, our beautiful bedroom. So we have a huge comfy bed here, and then we also have an outdoor seating area. There's another skylight here, and of course these big windows, so again with the natural light. And there's one more skylight up here over the staircase. Too. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. If you look, you can see the ceiling is pink, and basically this whole color scheme like deep green, pink, and gold. It's so gorgeous. But if you guys are interested in booking a stay here at the Box Hop, just keep in mind that they do book out pretty far in advance. But if you sign up for their mailing list and follow them on social media, they'll post some last minute cancellations and then when dates open up. So make sure you're watching for that. some potatoes. I mean, there's plenty of restaurants around this area. We checked them out online, but this place is so beautiful. I just want to like soak up all the time that we have here. So there's a grill outside by the hot tub, which we didn't talk about yet, but we're definitely going to be using tonight. So we figured, you know, stop at the grocery store, get some food and just cook here. And if there's anything that 
Don't stick your feet through yeah, it. I know. I just ease myself down. <laughs> Want to eat dinner here tonight? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Is it comfy? Oh, yeah. Aw, it actually is. There's definitely room for two in that. It's yeah. awesome. Right off of our porch. I dig it. Oh, it's really comfortable. It really is. It's like more comfortable than a hammock. I feel very supported right now. <laughs> Hawking Hills State Park and we're at our first stop of the trip. It's called the Rock House. It's about a quarter of a mile walk into here and it's a relatively easy path. It's like a little bit of an incline and they do warn you to stay on the trail because there's a lot of big cliffs. Yeah, you can actually get fined if you go off of the trail, I think. Or like, die. So. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but this is the only proper cave in Hawking Hills State Park and it's so cool to be able to come inside of it and walk around. And a little fun fact, Native Americans used to use this as shelter and there are all of these holes in the back of the cave that they would heat up and use as baking ovens. So we might not be utilizing those baking ovens today, but we are taking shelter in here because like we said earlier, it is raining. Yeah, it's nice and dry in here though.
fun exploring this park. I mean, I'm blown away that this is a state park and not a national park. Some of the views here are just incredible. too rainy out for another hike right now so we headed to the town of Logan which is about a 15 minute drive there's a brewery here called brewery 33 and we're just trying some of their craft beers that they have on draft but we ordered pizza from a local shop that the box hop recommended it's called pizza crossing and guys we're so excited about this this pizza is fully loaded when the guy handed me the box I was like this is like a 10 pound pizza right here this is their all the way pizza these are very uniquely cut I was, <laughs> I was not <laughs> expecting that all right, here we go. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a very solid pizza. The sauce is really good. Has like a little bit of sweetness to it. Sometimes you get pizza, especially delivery, and it's like a little flimsy, but this is sturdy pizza. It's good. It, it has to be sturdy to hold all these toppings. I was kind of thrown off by the cuts, but I, that's kind of cool. I like that. You could have like small bites, it's like tapas style pizza. This may be the smallest piece of pizza I ever did see. Very it's a uniquely cut. Right in the middle. It's like one, one, one bite. Should I try? <laughs> So our plan backfired. It's raining even harder now, but we're still gonna do one more hike. We're going to Ash Cave, so I think it's a pretty short trail. Time don't need no pleasure without pain, or love without heartbreak, respect. Guys, just take a look at this place. Can you believe that this is next to our home state of Pennsylvania? When we were young, we were the same longest time To our naive tongues and the trust in our hope For all my days For all my days Now that I've got your head here your life, I won't let it go. I was told we were scared the most of these things we can't control. No. That was absolutely beautiful. We definitely need to come back to Hocking Hills State Park to see more of what it has to offer. Yeah, for sure. I feel like we didn't even scratch the surface of what this state park has to offer today. There's just so many little parts to explore. But you know, given the forecast today, I think we did pretty well. We were troopers. <laughs> the next time you see us, we'll be heading to Philadelphia, PA. We have a really cool place we'll be featuring and we'll be eating a lot of great food in the area of Fishtown. Yeah, so if you guys like what you've been seeing in these videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and like it and and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. So we'll see you guys next week. Let's go get dry. <laughs> yeah. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe.